Okay, we're gonna divide by five. I'm a one. I don't think five can fit into one. No. But I'm a four, but together we make fourteen. Fourteen? Five can go into fourteen um, two times. Uh, we have this leftover. What should we do? friends, today we're going to be dividing decimals. Um, it's not as hard as you think. Actually, I have a few quick pointers for you that I think will actually help you out. So the first thing, step one is going to be, and it's going to sound kind of silly, but it's going to be to raise that decimal to the roof. Meaning, raise the decimal into the quotient area. So I'm going to put it so you'll remember it better is to raise the decimal to the quotient area. I like to call it the roof, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so if I had the example of, let's see, 384 divided by 5, or 3 and 84 hundredths divided by 5. Well, when I mean raise it to the roof, I mean bring that decimal up to where the quotient would be. Okay? So the second thing that you do is you divide it normally, as if there was no decimal there. So step two, divide normally. Okay, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I have my 3 and 84 hundredths divided by 5. Okay, so I know that 5 does not go into 3, but it goes into 38. So I'm going to pretend like that's 38 and not 3 and 8 tenths. And I know that um, 5 can go into 38 7 times because seven times five is 35, and I'm gonna subtract. So I'm just doing this like I normally would. And then I have eight minus five, which is three, and then I'm gonna bring down my four like normal. And I also know that set five goes into 34 six times, so six times five is 30. And now I have four left over. Okay, so how might I get rid of that remainder? I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So if I have a remainder, I'm going to try to get rid of it. And the way I'm going to do that is to add a zero. And if you'll notice, if I add a zero here, does it change 3 and 84 hundredths? I know Mrs. Malfress's class knows that it does not. I could add a million zeros, and this number is still $3.84. Okay, so if I add that zero, I can also bring it down. And now I know that five goes into 40 eight times. And eight times five is 40. There you go. So now you know how to, number one, divide by a decimal, and number two, get rid of a remainder. So if you have any questions, ask your teacher. But I'm going to have you do some practice ones over on the side. So the first practice one is going to be, let's see, 4 and 83 hundredths, okay? I want you to try to get rid of that decimal. And then the second one, I'll give you another easy one, is going to be 6 and 93 hundredths divided by 5. Be sure to show your teacher, be prepared to show your teacher what the answer to these two problems are. Have a great night. Bye-bye.
Thank you.